Well, it's that time again to talk some high school football as we keep checking off all these helmets. Tonight, it's St. Luke's in this featured TGIF edition of 30 Teams in 30 Days. Hey, y'all, I'm Fox 10 Sports anchor Simone Eli. Thanks for watching on this Feel Good Friday. You know, when I started this adventure last week, I was a little worried about burnout. But actually, it's been just the opposite. I'm getting more excited with each team I profile, so why not keep it rolling? Tonight, we go to the 1A ranks and take a look at the St. Luke's Wildcats. This program has only been around a few years, but lately, it's looked like a seasoned program. Now, recently, I sat down with two seniors. Darian McMillan and Tanner Chastain, as well as head coach John Beverly. And here's our conversation as 30 teams in 30 days keeps rolling. <laughs> spring season is here. Just talk about this exciting time. You know, spring is always exciting. It's an opportunity to, you know, get your kids back, you know, from, from uh, off season workouts and see how well they've adapted to what we're doing on off season and see if that could you know, uh, take place on the field. So spring is an exciting time. Uh, you get to bring your new kids in to find out how they're adjusting, you know, whether or not they're, they're picking up on things that we've been going over, uh, you know, during the off season, you know, playbooks and game plans and all that kind of stuff goes into it. So we're, we're very, very excited. I'm excited. I'm just ready to get back with my team. Most of us have been together since we are in the seventh grade and it's the last season with us, with everybody. What's it like just from the coach's perspective to see your team out there, they have the helmets on, you know, they're hitting each other. What's that like? You know, it's, it's very exciting. And, you know, it, it means that you're doing something good. It means that your community is, is involved and then really enjoying what you're doing. It means you, your school is really enjoying what you're doing. We've had a great amount of participation uh, here the last couple of years, which can't do anything to get better, uh, you know, for us. And like I said, we look, we look forward to that. You know, it's a very, very exciting time when we get ready to throw the helmets on and pass on and got there and bang a little bit. And how important is it for your team to grow together off the field as well as on the field during this time? It's very important because uh, we, uh, this is our last one and we're going to the 2A and with the new kids on the block. What would it mean to you to get past the second round this season, your senior season? It, it, it would probably be the Probably been one of the main goals of the whole team. It's going to be, it'd be awesome to get past the second round because we've lost the second round the last two years. We haven't gotten over that hump yet, and you know, this is a year that we're wanting to go out and compete and hopefully have an opportunity to do so. Now, it's going to be no easy task, especially with the new classification and going up to 2A. You're playing a little bit of bigger teams, maybe. Talk about how that's going to create a challenge, but also might be an opportunity for you guys. You know, football is a fun game. You know, it is definitely a team game, and uh, one thing that I've enjoyed. Is an opportunity to coach with some great coaches, but also coach against some great athletes and great coaches as well. And that's what we're looking forward to the most this season is actually going out and competing against some great teams and some great coaches. So we're definitely looking uh, forward to the challenge, but we're also having an expectation that we want to go out and compete in two way as well. I think it's an advantage because um, they don't know who we are and they don't they're not expecting much from us, but we're expecting a lot next year. It's going to be hard adjusting because it's. Each week is going to be a battle with all these new teams, and but it's going to be an advantage for us because they've never played us, so it's, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Well, we are the new kids on the block, and you know, I, I do think that there is some expectancy of us to go out and compete. Uh, you know, Pat, beyond that, I don't know, you know where you know those other teams in two A are expecting us to go, but you know we're expecting to go out and compete very well against uh, you know those guys and those higher echelon guys that are in the, that two A region one, which is probably the second hardest region in the state of Alabama, in my opinion. All right. Well, St. Luke's finished eight and four last season, losing in the second round of the playoffs. Pretty even when it came to points for and points against last year. Now, St. Luke's fielded its first team in 2010, and look at the record the last two seasons: a very respectable 17 and seven. Coach Bev really putting his stamp on that program. Good luck to the Wildcats this coming fall. All right, 30 teams in 30 days does not get a breather just because it's the weekend. It's in full steam ahead tomorrow night with a look at the Baldwin County Tigers. Now, a new head coach and a new attitude could make a very big difference in Bay Manette. We'll talk all about it tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. All right, now, 